Thank you, Connor. Well, when the University of Notre Dame breaks ground on a new solar array later this year, it will be a full circle moment for our next guest, a former Notre Dame professor whose company Crossroads Solar is supplying the panels for this project and helping formerly incarcerated men and women transition from prison to employment in the process. Patrick Regan, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you. Nice to be here. So tell us about the inspiration behind Crossroads Solar. Uh, I taught here and I was asked one day to teach in the Westfield prison under the auspices of what is now the Moreau College Initiative. And in the prison I learned some things about um, people's capability and mistakes and the way we never let them over their mistakes. So I, in my mind I saw a social problem that I thought that I could tackle in some way. So I started the idea of a company and I figured if I built it on the notion of forgiveness and reconciliation and treated people with dignity and respect, they'd be good workers. We have a great workforce. <clears throat> what led you to make that leap from research and teaching to <clears throat> entrepreneurship? Uh, craziness, um, probably age, that I was in a position in life that I could. Um, but I just really thought I could tackle that problem. And just a small piece of it, to me it was an experiment. And if I could demonstrate that the experiment worked here, then it could work anywhere. That's a big change. Tell us more about the journey. Whew. Um, well, I could, um, early in the process, somebody called me up and said, so what, would, what advice would you give to somebody who was trying to do what you're doing? And I told him without hesitating, I said, buy a mouth guard. And he said, why a mouth guard? I said, because I mash my teeth constantly. It was nerve-wracking. Um, you know, if it failed, then it failed on a lot of dimensions, not just the company. Um, and I had no business acumen whatsoever. I was a great academic, I think, but I was, I was completely devoid of business skills. So I just was winging it the whole way. Um, uh, you know, I violated the sensibilities of my wife more times than you could imagine in quitting the job, starting this one, um, and, and we just muscled through it. <clears throat> and you've met success. How did you and your Crossroads Solar's co-founder, Marty Whalen, first decide to pursue this project together? Yeah, so I had the idea, I had a business plan built up or developed, and I didn't have the guts fully and I didn't have the money fully um, and I also didn't know how to get the employees and I thought initially it would all be men who graduated from the Moreau College Initiative. That was foolish. Um, so through the administration of the program they put me in touch with Marty and I gave Marty my business plan and Marty said to me one day we we're sitting down he says let's just make this happen. You know, He had the means to allow me to make it happen. Um, so we met, we discussed it. Um, he, he and his wife had also taught in the prison, so they understood the problem. But coming up with a solution to the problem is rather tricky. Uh, it took uh, a lot of effort, a lot of capital investments. So it's not that you can just see the problem and go, oh, we could hire men and women. Uh, it took some work to get there. And <clears throat> Given your long-standing connection with Notre Dame, what is it like to have Notre Dame as a customer for your company now? Oh, it's great. Um, not only for the uh, platitudes that it gets to have Notre Dame, um, uh, you know, in a sense, legitimize our project and all that, but it's great to have Notre Dame act on what the papal encyclical um, challenges Notre Dame to act on, climate and poverty. Uh, this is Laudato Si. So in some sense, um, Crossroads is a Laudato Si in action, and uh, the general public isn't going to respond to that. Notre Dame did, so it's been really great. Yeah, how do you think that the unique values of your company factor into that decision for people to choose Crossroads Solar? Hmm. Um, you know, we get a a lot of customers who are the small customers, the you and me who buy some panels, who just want our panels because of what we stand for. But the dollar values are small, so it's easy to put your principles on a line for a couple hundred bucks. We have a number of customers, as we've grown, who will 
also only buy our panels because of what we stand for, the social mission. It's locally made. That's huge in, um, in, the, in the agricultural community, the local. Um, and, uh, you know, I just think a lot of people like what we're doing. Not everybody can act on it, so it takes the solar to get them to be able to act on it. What do you envision for the future of your company? <laughs> um, well, I envision my being able to golf more or something <laughs> like that. Um, we're growing like crazy. Um, we went from, started with a half dozen employees, and now we have about 33 or, or so, all felons. Um, and I could see much more growth. Um, uh, it's, it's still a capital growth thing um, and I think if the if the world around us wants it to grow it's growable um, Pat Regan um, I care about the growth only from the perspective of the project but to run a big company I don't have much interest in that um, but my guess is when I'm replaced it will grow to a, a bigger company um, and you're already making a difference it sounds like it we're trying yeah. All right, Pat. Thank you so much for joining us on this Notre Dame Day. My pleasure. Thank you. Right.